You would think, though, Jack, and let's look at Hillary Clinton as a candidate. Has there ever been a more flawed candidate? Has there ever been a greater opportunity, uh, if you're a Republican, to, to take the White House when you have a woman who, first of all, is under FBI investigation? Second of all, uh, you know, is in, with this Clinton Foundation garbage, which, of course, has never been investigated by this administration, uh, has taken tens of millions of dollars from countries that she admits that she called out for sponsoring and supporting terrorism and that kill gays or stone gays or imprison gays and treat women like garbage. I mean, just those two facts should, should, should make it almost a, 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 you know, a, 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 an easy cakewalk. But like you said, it's not a typical election season. Well, I, I think a lot of people are saying that if virtually any of the other folks running were nominated, this would be a sprint, you know, uh, to the finish line and probably have a massive blowout. She is a terrible candidate. Uh, she has not only got the legacy problem, which we don't talk about so much, but it's still there. She has the incredible corruption issues. She has the incompetence, by the way. It's not just corrupt. She was an incompetent secretary of state. She was an incompetent senator. And frankly, she was an incompetent first lady in the sense that she meddled into policies. She's not a competent public servant. This should be something where the Republicans are marching to victory. But unfortunately, the Republican candidate has flaws, deep flaws. And we're hoping, I guess the Republicans are hoping that they're able to overcome these. But what should be a blowout election is going to turn into a, at least we hope, a squeaker, uh, but could be the other way.